some miles north of Waverly. Uh, the landowner was concerned because two bucks had um, gotten their horns tangled during the rut, during their fight and during the rut, and uh, were concerned about the buck's well-being. Uh, I responded initially, and a game game warden also responded on the radio saying that she would be en route as well. Um, while we were en route, she also made some phone contact with uh, some other game wardens and also uh, game parks employees who also responded. I think there was a total of four game parks uh, personnel that responded as well. Um, when I arrived, the two bucks were down in the in the creek bed behind the farmhouse, um, still locked up. The one was pretty exhausted and laying around. The other one, you can see from the video, was still pretty agile. Um, when the game game parks got there, they pretty much take, took over the scene, did a really good job uh, roping the, the one that was doing all the fighting his legs, getting him under control. And then uh, uh, Conservation Officer Lubin was able to use a, a tree saw to uh, saw off the uh, just a small portion of the one's rack to uh, unlock the horns. The video doesn't show that part. I ran out of video on my phone, but uh, it the one buck got up right away and ran off to the south end of the cornfield. Um, the other one we drug up out of the bottom to try and get him into some grassy area where he could warm up a little bit and kind of cool off. Uh, but I'm not sure. I haven't heard whether that one survived or not. But uh. what was that 